Hello YouTube, a little project again, I have turbo balancing rig on the works, I've made a frame from aluminium and the hangers will be, they will be made from carbon fiber or I don't know aluminium and there will be ball bearings on them. So these are just for the mock-up now. And this bar, it's gonna be pivoted from the ends. And it's gonna have ball bearings also, with it, so it can pivot on both directions when there's, there's going to be sensors on each end. So I can, I can make dynamic balancing on my turbocharger projects but anyway this is this is just a mock-up to see if everything fits the way I wanted I'm still waiting for the bearings for those connecting rods what would you call them I don't know but yeah I just use TIG wire now for now so I can see everything moves like I wanted and you can get the dynamic balancing done this beam is going to lay flat. I'm going to machine openings and there are going to be bearings in it. So when it's flat, there's going to be piece that's going to be bol bolted on the turbocharger oil drain flange so I can mount the turbo on onto the machine and then I'm going to drive it either with vacuum or with compressed air. I don't know yet. Remains to be seen. Because I don't like the way people are driving the CHRs with some kind of rubber band or some kind of, I don't know, plastic band. Because I think it's putting outside force on the turbine axle and it's not going to give you enough or as accurate measurement as if you're spinning the turbine with air or vacuum because you can get the air pressure into the middle where where is a zero point you're not causing any outside forces to the turbine ZHR so you get a better result on that but anyways this is just the beginning of this project I've been tinkering it tinkering with it a lot and thinking about how to make this because I'm building those turbos for myself making changes to the housings and different turbines and compressor wheels and housings and I don't want to pay somebody to balance my turbos if I'm going to just take it apart again and do something different with it because I like testing stuff but anyways if you have questions put them down below and I'll answer when I have time and when I notice them and have a nice day bye